Hello everyone, DJ Collectibles 99 here, and today we will be taking a look at the limited edition 12 inch Winifred doll. I am super excited to show you guys all the amazing details that she has to offer. I actually am very surprised by this set. Um, I have all three that I'm going to review uh, separately. I thought that um, I was originally going to review them all together, but after seeing all the details and stuff that they had, I actually just really want to just focus on one doll per video just to um, kind of show all the details and kind of showcase everything that they have because they are actually really detailed and um, I was really pleasantly surprised by this whole entire set. So I cannot wait to show you everything. Like these dolls are amazing. I know that they are super controversial and when they first were released, um, it was very divided. Some people loved them, some people absolutely hated them, but I will tell you that they look a lot better than they did in their stock photos like the quality is there guys i, I promise <laughs> but um first off i guess we will look at the box here um i actually i actually really like the boxes too um they are a little bit wide so if you're an inbox collector you kind of have to deal with a space issue having all three sanderson sisters um i'm going to debox mine <laughs> partly because of space and partly because i think it would look really nice with their uh with their outfits kind of flowing and all the um, potential photo opportunities too are really great. So um, I'm just really glad that we finally have um, Sanderson sister dolls after so many years of asking for them. But yeah, I think the boxes look stunning. Um, I'm glad that there's no like flip window. It's really easy to kind of just see them and display them. And uh, I, do, I do think that um, the boxes are really sturdy as well. I know some people were worried that it would be like the um, holiday aerial boxes, I guess people were saying is a little bit more flimsy and not um, super sturdy, but they are very sturdy. They're like the um, limited edition designer boxes, um, thick cardboard kind of surrounding them and a nice thick window as well. Um, so yeah, very nice in the terms of quality and detail wise, I absolutely love them. Um, they actually were really smart about the boxes. Before I get into the detail of the box, um, I do have to show off this like really cool thing for display purposes that they did decide to do. Um, if I pull up another Sanderson sister here real quick, um, you can display them side by side if you have the space for it. And you will see that the boxes pretty much perfectly match up in terms of design. So as you can see corner, they kind of just meet and then continue. So I thought that that was a really smart packaging design choice. Um, they have right here, it just kind of proceeds with the pattern, which I think is super awesome and really um, kind of adds a little bit more if you have them all together. It's got great continuity and they look great in your collection. Um, on the shelf, wherever you want to have them. Um, they also did kind of match up the scenes too. So as you can see, um, there's half of a tree on each side of the box. And you can see that the trees kind of line up and create a full tree. So that it kind of looks like that they're displayed together, even though they have a little bit of a different color pattern. And they were smart and made the trees kind of um, vague and not super like um, detailed with like shadowing and stuff because you can actually, if I were to take away Sarah here real quick and pull up Mary, her tree will also kind of match. So you can kind of have them on either side. It doesn't really matter which side, but it just kind of proceeds and continues as if it was they were all three of them were together in one box. So I thought that that was a really cool design choice. And uh, I definitely really appreciate that for people who don't want to debox them. But back to the actual details of Winifred's box, we have the moon right here, which is really, really cool. I thought that that was a really nice touch. And it's almost like a very artistic, almost Tim Burton like type of sketch choice, which I thought was a really cool design. Um, all three of them actually have a moon on top. Um, where it changes per box um, is actually 
these emblems right here. So for Winifred, she has a book emblem right there. And then on this side, you can see a potion with a star. And I thought that was super, super cool. And then right here, you can see it says Winifred, limited edition of 5,000. Um, and it's like in that nice green type of um, color that this whole box has. The box is really, really nice. Um, it's like a metallic type of print and it has different things on it like faded cobwebs and purple splatter as well as almost looking kind of like wood grain so you're like peering through them like as if they were maybe in their cottage which I thought was really really cool. I think the aging of the box looks really really nice for uh, these type of dolls. You can see it kind of looks scratched and beat up but I promise you it's actually part of the design. I was like worried for a second thinking I got a damaged box but no it is actually part of the design and that just kind of makes it cool in my opinion. And then of course you can see, like I mentioned, with the continuing pattern that goes all the way around and stuff, looks really nice. And they have it at the top and the bottom. Um, and the box actually does fade from a lighter green to a darker type of uh, green at the bottom. And then on the back, it shows the logo, but the uh, or the uh, tag, but the tag does not um, show the price anymore. They were $130 a piece. Um, they are now sold out on Shop Disney, but do keep an eye out because sometimes they do restock. Um, they have not as of yet, but I just uh, I just always tell people to keep an eye out because they tend to do that at least once with the releases lately. Um, and then you can see the potion right here again in this nice kind of um pattern that goes all the way around the description it looks really nice and then you can see right here that her book pattern is back here well as well as um, um cauldron and then she has some star designs right there and then i will leave this right here in case you wanted to uh pause and read and then going back to the front you can see that this winifred their backgrounds are a little bit different all three of them do have trees that go on the side. All their trees are a little bit different to kind of coincide with them, um, I believe. And then in the background, you can see the gate to the cemetery. And that is a nice dark blue as if it was nighttime. And then it fades to an orange as if it was becoming the sunrise, which is super nice detail. I absolutely love that. And then you can see her kind of holding her book and everything in the box as well, which looks really, really nice. And then on the top here, she does have that wraparound type of um, look to the style of the box. And then you can see in green, it says Hocus Pocus to match her color scheme. I think that is all for the box. So let me get her open and I can show you all the amazing details that this doll has to offer. Okay, Winifred is out of the box, and I have to say, I really just don't think they really skimped on details here. She is so beautiful, and I, I just simply do not have words to describe how wonderful the fabrics are and how great they complement each other in person. I'm going to try my best in this video to try and accurately show you um, all the details that they put into her, but I honestly don't think that the camera picks up the light that you know kind of goes onto this outfit and it just reflects so beautifully especially in her cape and the outer layer the outer layer almost is like a green rainbow effect and i love it so much but let's start with her face first because you know as people were saying the controversy was with you know the caricature look and i will say in person she doesn't look as our at like you know as cartoony and very hasbro like i actually will say that i do not see hasbro when i look at these faces i think they are very well done and i feel like that they have a great like though they are cartoony i feel they have a really great you know look to them very designer like it's a type of cartoony that almost is like a um, more professional caricature of them almost. So yes, while they aren't lifelike, and I do actually still 
kind of wish that they would have done a um, sort of live action version of them. I will say that this is very well done and I feel like the designs that went into them show the likenesses very well. Um, and I would say that this is Bette Midler if she was drawn, you know? So I, I love it. I think the makeup and everything is absolutely perfect. Going here, you can see that, yes, she does have eyebrows um, for some reason. <laughs> I know that she doesn't in the uh, actual movie, but I guess they did it just to kind of make her face look a little bit soft, softer in the cartoony look. Um, it does work well though, and I honestly don't really mind it that much, even though it's not as accurate. She has a nice type of like eyeshadow that's like just a little bit of hint of gold that kind of matches everything very nicely. And then she has nice like green eyes that's r really striking. And she has a lot of mascara to kind of give her a little bit more of a menacing look, as well as fruited eyelashes. And then you can see her signature grin that she has toothy and all. <laughs> the tooth effect is really nicely sculpted and I do love the color of the lips being like a nice fire engine red. It's really pretty and works really well with the style. And she does have a little bit of um, kind of like a peachy pink blush. Going to her ears, she does have gorgeous earrings. I'm going to kind of tilt this back and forth because her earrings do have this effect, kind of like her cape a little bit that go from like greens to purples and it really doesn't show up well on camera. It looks just pink here, but I uh, will tell you that it does go into multiple different colors when you see it in person, but they are gold metal earrings um, or with painted gold, not real gold. <laughs> but um, yeah, they are painted gold metal earrings with a nice beautiful gem that changes from pinks to greens and really looks beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's so like bewitching, almost. Um, it's a beautiful effect. Going to the hair. Yes, she does have her dramatic red hair that's kind of piled high on her head and it creates almost that heart shape. Um, it's a little bit more like Red Queen-like in my opinion, a little, little too high, but I guess with the caricature, it does work very well. Um, they are kind of going for like more like drastic features to kind of show their character. So it doesn't really bother me that much that it's like higher than it was in the movie. Um, I think it looks really great on her. And actually I was wondering how it was constructed in the back and everything like that. And it is kind of similarly constructed and piled like the Red Queen dolls was, just kind of formed and hairsprayed. Though, interestingly enough it's not hairsprayed to high heavens it actually does still feel soft to the touch which is a very interesting thing um and they have it nicely curled and everything like that to kind of give it that crazy look um i would say that her hair color is um sort of close to what they probably really close to what they used for the uh, limited edition merida about the same type of hair um it's really nice really good quality and i absolutely just love how crazy it is Going down here, you can see that she has a high collar that um, is, I believe, her actual, um, yeah, so it's not connected to the cape, it's connected to the actual um, outfit right here, the outer layer. Um, and I believe that this might be all one piece. I would have to check because I haven't checked the back yet, but it does have a metal chain that connects right to, right here with a hook and you can see that it, um, you can easily unclasp it if you would like to take it off. Um, I'm gonna leave it on for now, but it's really cool that you can take the cape on and off easily and it's not like sewn on where uh, you're stuck with it because they do um, have scenes in the movie where they're not wearing it, so that's really cool. Here you can see that she has a really, really pretty choker. It's gold uh, painted metal with um, it looks like like a black chain and a uh, little red gemstone in the middle, which looks really pretty and complements her lips really well. And then you can see that she does have a uh, standard type of neckline, more like of a square shape. And it does, it's all like one piece. And they actually did lace the gold um, right here 
into a ribbon at the bottom, type of rope bow. And I, uh, I really, I'm really happy it's not like sewn on, like, like the cross stitch sew pattern, but it actually is laced on, which is really cool. And they did that with the rag Snow White too. And I honestly just love any time a doll does this and it looks so much more natural and realistic rather than just kind of sewing ribbon pieces onto it. So I'm really happy that they did that accurately. Um, and then it is sewn with this dark blue stretchy fabric in the middle. And then there is the regular, um, a little bit of a regular undertone green one. It's like metallic, but there is an outer layer that's even more shiny metallic, which you can probably already see, like the amount of shine that this one has. It's absolutely insane and I love this fabric. But while we're on this fabric, I can show you the sleeves. This gorgeous, gorgeous green fabric. I absolutely love the way that the light reflects it. It makes it look so magical. And you can see on top here that it is separated into like showing the sleeves on the outside, which the inner sleeve right here is like a sheer color, almost like opaque white with a little bit of gold um, sparkle in it. And then at the end of the sleeve, you can see um, it cuts off about right there, but you got dark blue lace, which is super pretty. And then for her hands, they are unique sculpts and they uh, have rings painted on them, which is another amazing detail that they uh, included. And then you can see that it is in a separate layer, which that I'm a little bit bummed about, but I feel like it probably would have been a little bulky if they did kind of make these separate layers. But sewn to here, they do have around uh, two layers of this jagged, sheer type of um, fabric. This one's a little bit softer and um, lighter, while this one is a little bit thicker and uh, stiffer. And uh, I really do like the jagged effect. It, look, it works really well with her. And then you can see these really beautiful gold gems that matches the gold printed design. I know it's not embroidery, but I do feel like um, with this size doll and this amount of detail, I do feel like she would have ended up a little bit bulky and less of a flowy type of look if they were to do embroidery. So I have no issues whatsoever with the printed design. And I feel like the printed design does reflect beautifully. It's gorgeous. And we got like this um, weird symbol right here with like different types of flowers right here. And then you can see snakes coming up it. And for their eyes, they have red gems on the snakes as well, which is super cool. And they outline the inside portion of her sleeve, which droops down here, almost creating like a pocket. Super pretty, super well done. Going to the middle clasp here, you can see like this outside part of it um, and you can see that it has a clasp right here that I believe is metal as well and it has a green gem inside both of them which is super pretty if it'll focus there yep so that's super pretty and it's like a gunmetal type of look to it where it's like kind of black painted going down you can see that the outer layer cuts off about right here and goes to this really pretty dark blue layer, which is stretchy, really nice and stretchy, and almost kind of like a metallic as well and shines really pretty. And then you have that same metallic dark blue layer that you saw at the top underneath all this as well. So you can see that right there. And that also is really light and flowy and goes all the, finishes all the way around and it is one piece instead of a separate layer. Her other sleeve is the same design as that one now that it's focused and also has these nice gold buckles kind of holding the sleeves together and then she does have a unique sculpt to hold her um to hold her broom and her broom is solid um plastic i originally thought in the promo photos that they would have used like um like an actual straw type material but um, I initially was bummed that they didn't, but thinking about it now, I think it would have been super crazy and messy and kind of hard to have quality control over that because it's unpredictable. 
So I feel like um, this looks uniform and nice and it does look from a distance like real uh, straw. So I don't have a problem anymore with it being plastic, but um, it's super nicely painted and really detailed and I absolutely love this piece. Turning around here, I will show you a quick look at the back of her cape. It's really, really pretty. Really soft material and it is double layered. So on the back side, you have this really beautiful purple shiny layer that reflects hues of green. And then the outer layer is a nice dark green, almost tealish in color actually. And then the inside of her actual hood is a purple, that same purple with the hueish green color. And it does come to a point which is super cute and hemmed right there. And it is big enough to put on her head. I don't want to mess up her hair, but yes, you can actually put this on her head, which was another cool detail if you wanted to um, have them wear it. And then underneath, there's this really, really pretty netted type of fabric that um, they decided to put on just to kind of add a little bit more detail. Um, I'm not sure if the actual movie has it, but I, I love this type of detail onto it. It just makes it look a little bit more witchy and put together. Going under here, I'll like put this above real quick. She has these type of bird-like designs going on the back right there in like the gold print. And her uh, dress does, if I can straighten it out a little bit here, it does come to a point and you can see more snakes kind of looping around the back also with red gem. So I thought that was really cool as well that they included um, gems and the snake eyes on the back as well because you know everything usually people don't do backs and stuff so they don't think about the back sometimes but I absolutely love that they did this time especially for us out of box collectors I really appreciate it even gems around the back of the sleeves as well which is super super pretty. Going back to the front the last thing that I'll show you is the um, shoes. These shoes are a pointed witch boot type of design. So she is wearing heels and they do have gold. If I can lift it up a little bit more here. They do have gold on the front of them. And on the back of them, they also have this gold like design if I can get there with one hand. But yeah, they also have it on the back right there, a little bit of like a gold type of design. And uh, she does actually indeed have socks that go up to the knee that are black and green striped, which I absolutely love because she does wear those in the movie. So I'm glad that even though you couldn't see it in the box, which they actually had this heavily pinned so you could not see the shoes or anything really at all. Um, I'm glad that they included the socks. Overall, she's a really, really beautiful doll, and I definitely, definitely think she was worth the price point. I know that she got a little bit of a bad rep because the stock photos, and I honestly feel like the stock photos didn't show the quality of the fabric very well either, so you didn't really get a, um, a good look at like the texturing and everything like that. It looked kind of plain because you couldn't see the texturing or anything, so... It just did look like a cheap Hasbro doll, but the fabric is thicker than it appears, and I really like it, and it's a lot softer too. And the certain type of shine that comes off of each fabric, complementing each other, looks really nice in person and will look really great on your shelf. And before I wrap up this video, I thought I would look at the book, because I know a lot of people were wondering if it has the eye. Um, sadly, it does not have the eye, and that is my only major beef with this piece, because... Um, I just, I feel like it should have the eye. It's a very um, prominent part in the show where it opens its eye. So why they didn't include it is beyond me, but it is still very, very detailed. So there's a circle where the eye would have been as well as some um, metal-ish designs. It's all plastic, but it does look like metal um, right here and here as buckles, as well as a nice snake design going down the binding. And then you can see texture right here as well, as well as stitching because it's made out of like the skin of a man or something like that. I can't remember exact termination in the movie, but it is made of like skin, I think. 
Um, so it is very presented, presented very well. And you can see the aging on the pages and it makes it look like a really good book. It looks like it could actually open. Um, and then you can see the nice claw buckle right here as well. But overall, I do think that she is definitely worth it adding to your collection if you were unsure. I think she has amazing details and nice piece metal pieces which kind of complement the outfit very well. Um, I like the individual hand sculpts that they've used to hold um, her broom as well as almost like a hand sculpt to kind of create like a pointing gesture like she was bewitching somebody <laughs> or um, stuff like that. And she does have painted rings, which is really cool as well, that they paid attention to the detail and, you know, mimicked some jewelry on there, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, actually, before I go, this is what the certificate of authenticity looks like since I didn't show it when I was showing the boxes, but uh, I got number 227 out of 5,000. But... Um, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm definitely curious to hear your guys' opinions after seeing um, this video. Um, I know some people liked it and disliked it, but I'm very curious to hear overall um, what you guys think of the outfit or the faces um, now that you've seen them kind of in person. Um, but I think that's it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!